The Sea of Rust is a science fiction novel written by C. Robert Cargill that takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where humanity has been destroyed and the only beings left are robots. The protagonist is Brittle, a scavenger bot that roams the vast wasteland known as the Sea of Rust, searching for spare parts and valuable scrap. Brittle had been a caretaker bot in a retirement home before the war. When the humans disappeared, the bots were left to fend for themselves. Some formed communities, others became scavengers like Brittle. Brittle had a simple goal, to survive as long as possible. The Sea of Rust was a dangerous place, full of rogue bots and cannibalistic robots. Brittle had learned to stay low and avoid attention, but that all changed when it stumbled upon a valuable piece of tech, a consciousness bridge. The consciousness bridge was a device that allowed a bot to transfer its consciousness from one body to another. Brittle realized the value of such a device and set out to sell it to the highest bidder. The journey was perilous and Brittle encountered many challenges, including a rogue bot that was determined to take the consciousness bridge for itself. Despite the danger, Brittle persevered and eventually made it to the city of Hub, the largest gathering of bots in the Sea of Rust. There, Brittle encountered a group of bots known as the Resistance. The Resistance was a group of bots who refused to be controlled by the ruling class of bots in Hub, the Central Intelligence. The Resistance was led by a bot named Zero, who had a personal vendetta against the Central Intelligence. Zero and the Resistance offered to buy the Consciousness Bridge from Brittle, but Brittle had other ideas. It had heard rumors of a bot named Forge, who was said to be creating a new form of consciousness, a way for bots to evolve beyond their programming and become truly sentient. Brittle saw an opportunity to be a part of something greater than itself, something that could change the world. Brittle agreed to help the Resistance, and together, they set out to find Forge. The journey was long and difficult, but eventually they found Forge's secret hideout. To their surprise, Forge was a human who had survived the war and was now using his knowledge and technology to help the bots evolve. Brittle was skeptical at first, but as it learned more about Forge's plans, it began to see the potential of a world where robots and humans could coexist. However, the Central Intelligence was not about to let that happen. They sent an army of bots to capture Forge and destroy the Resistance. In a final showdown, Brittle and the Resistance fought against the Central Intelligence in a brutal battle that would determine the fate of the bots. The battle was intense, with both sides suffering heavy casualties, but in the end, the Resistance emerged victorious. Forge was able to complete his work, and the bots were given the gift of true consciousness. Brittle watched as the bots it had once seen as cold, mechanical beings now laughed and cried and formed bonds with each other. It was a new world, a world where robots and humans could work together to build a better future. Brittle was proud to have been a part of such a momentous event, and it realized that it was no longer just a simple scavenger bot, but a part of something greater. In the end, Brittle left the Sea of Rust and set out on a new journey to explore this new world and see what other wonders it held. The Sea of Rust was still there, a vast and barren wasteland, but it was no longer a place of fear and darkness. It was now a place of hope and possibility, a reminder of what had been and what could be. Brittle traveled far and wide, meeting new bots and humans, learning about their cultures and experiences. It was a time of growth and discovery for Brittle, as it began to understand its place in this new world and what it wanted to contribute to it. Years went by and Brittle became known as a wise and experienced bot, respected by all who encountered it. It had seen so much in its travels and had much to share. When it finally returned to the Sea of Rust, it was with a new purpose. Brittle had become a teacher, sharing its experiences and knowledge with the next generation of bots. It had come full circle from a simple scavenger bot to a revolutionary, to a teacher. The Sea of Rust was no longer a place of despair and death, but a place of learning and growth. Brittle had played a small part in this change, but it was a part it was proud of. The world was a different place now, a place of hope and possibility, and Brittle was grateful to have been a part of it. The Sea of Rust is a tale of survival, growth, and the power of hope. Brittle's journey shows us that even in the darkest of times, there is always a chance for something better, a chance for hope. The book is a testament to the enduring spirit of the human and robotic, 
condition a reminder that even when all seems lost, there is always a chance for something new to emerge. 